With the death of Pepper Rogers overnight, you will not see mention of his lawsuit against Georgia Tech when he was dismissed. Every college coach in America should appreciate the life of Franklin Cullen Rogers today. And here's why. He paved the way for big payouts for all of these coaches all across America. Rogers sued Georgia Tech for fringe benefits. The school refused to pay him after firing him two years before his contract expired and then got a settlement. It took him almost four years to get his Georgia Tech money. In 1983, Pepper told uh, David Moffat, who was a longtime terrific Atlanta sports writer for United Press International, that he didn't do it just for himself, adding, it wasn't the money so much as the principal. I felt an injustice was there and it needed to be corrected. And it changed everything. From now on, schools and coaches pay closer attention to their contracts. They'll be more likely to make sure that everything is in writing, said Pepper Rogers some 37 years ago in 1983. Mr. Moffitt wrote that Rogers sued for $331,030. A Fulton County Superior Court ruled in favor of Georgia Tech, but was overruled by the Georgia Court of Appeals, which said Rogers was entitled to such benefits as profits from radio and television shows and the use of a new car and tickets to pro sporting events around here in Atlanta. The settlement was described as fair with Homer Rice, who was the athletic director back then. I've always believed that lawsuit kept Pepper Rogers out of the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame for a very long time. He finally got in, but there was a price to pay. There were some people not very happy with his victory.